Okay, so welcome to today's video. Before we get started, once again, different shirt today, another one of my florally sort of shirts. And can I tell you, I'm quickly running out of shirts. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do if I have to keep making videos for another couple of months. I think I'm gonna have to make my own shirts, I'm not sure. Anyway, today's video, we're gonna do stuff on maths, and then we're gonna learn about inverse equations. But you guys know how much I love learning about inquiring into words and using the etymology of words. So before we start, learning about inverse. Let's go back and I'm gonna just quickly see if the research I did into the word inverse. Now, when I learned about inverse, the straight away I thought to myself, well, I'm sure that the prefix of the word inverse is in and the base word of the word is verse. So I went onto my online etymology dictionary and I found out that the word verse comes from the word vertari, which is a word in Latin, which comes, which means turn. But I looked up at what the actual word inver sorry, inverse comes from, and it comes from a word from the mid 15th century in Latin, which basically means inversus, the word comes from inversus, which meant to turn upside down or in reverse. So I guess when we're talking about inverse equations, we're talking about what happens when we have a number problem, but we have to solve it by putting it in reverse turning it around to solve the, the question. So let's keep that in mind that this word does actually mean something. The inverse means to turn around. So we're gonna turn around our problems today and see if we can solve them, okay? Let me just rub out this board and we'll get started. Did that work? Let's try again. Okay, so let's get started. Now remember, inverse equations, we're gonna turn them backwards. So we'll see how we go. So the first question is three plus two equals five. So we're going to try to get that question there and we're going to try and turn it backwards. But with inverse equations, you always do the opposite equation. So if you have a plus question, you're going to turn it into a subtraction question. If you have a subtraction question, you're going to turn it into an addition problem. If you have a multiplication problem, it turns into a division problem and vice versa. So let's figure it out. So we're going to turn it backwards, but we're going to try to use the opposite. So this is going to become a subtraction. And remember, we're turning it around. So we're going to go five, start with the answer. And we're going to use take away instead, 5 take away 2 equals 3. It didn't matter which one I chose. As long as I use the answer first, and then I'd use the opposite equation, it would always work. So I could do the other one. I could do 5, and then I'd do take away 3 equals 2. All right, so remember, let's try this again. So we're going to take the answer first, and then we're going to change the, change the operation to the opposite one, which is plus 8 equals 10. Okay, 2 plus 8 equals 10. What about this one? Let's try this one. We're going to start with the answer. We're going to change the operation to the opposite. Divide by 3 equals 2. Would that work with the other one? Let's have a look. 6 divided by 2 equals 3. Let's quickly try to see if it would work with division as well. So if I did 10 divided by 2 equals 5. All right, so with inverse, we're starting from the back. We're gonna start from the five, and we're gonna change the division to a multiply. Obviously, I'm not gonna use 10, 10, I'm gonna use that one. Five times two equals 10. So all of these problems, if you start with the answer and change your operation around, you should be able to find the answer. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start getting rid of some of these boxes and making them blank and seeing if you could do if you could solve these without having to if, with, and find the missing number of those numbers. Let's try it now. Okay, so let's try out some of the things we learn about. So we said we're gonna do the opposite, we're gonna turn it around, start with the answer. So we're gonna start with the answer, and we're gonna do the opposite of what that operation is. So the opposite of addition would be subtraction, so we're gonna subtract three, which would be 22. Let's see if that works. 22, 22 plus three equals 25, great. What about this one? So we're gonna start with the answer, 24. We're gonna change the operation around to the opposite, which is division, divided by three, and then we do 23, 4 divided by 3, which we should know is 8. Let's try the last one. We start with the answer. We do the opposite operation from division, which is a multiplication. And then we times it by the 4, which equals 40. Let's check that out. 40, sorry, let's write them all in there. 40 divided by 4 equals 10. So remember, with inverse, you're starting with the answer. You change into the opposite operation. And then you're going to try and figure it out from there. Let's see if we can go a little bit harder now. Okay, so let's see how we go with these ones. First one, something times six equals 42. We're gonna start, we're putting in reverse, we're gonna put the answer first. We're gonna change our operation from a multiplication to a division divided by six. Now I know my six times tables, so I know that 42 divided by six equals seven. 
So I put my answer in here. And it's really important that you check your answer because if you put that in there, you're gonna make sure that that actually makes sense. So seven times six is 42. Good, that's right. Okay, the next one. Something divided by four equals 76. Okay, start with the answer, 76. Change your operation around to multiplication, four. Wow, 76 times four, this is a bit more difficult. All right, let's write it down. 76 times by four. Four times six is 24. Put the two up here. Four times seven is 28 plus two is 30. The answer is 304. Now, once again, I said to make sure you're gonna check that. So we're gonna check it. We're gonna write down here, 304 divided by four. Four goes into three, zero times. Four goes into 30, how many times? Seven times with two left over. And then four goes into 24, six times 76. Let's check that that makes sense. Yep, so we've checked it. Once you've gone through and written it there, you're gonna make sure that operation actually makes sense. Okay, next one. Let's rub this out while I'm talking. Something times six equals 186. All right, let's have a look. So we're gonna start with our answer, 186. Change it around to divide and make it that. So 186 divided by six. Now I know already in my head because I would put six in 180, but anyway, let's try it the old fashioned way. Six into 100, six goes into one zero times, six goes into 18 three times, six goes into six one time. 31, once again, I've told you I want you to check it. So you can do 31 times by six, six times six, six times three, 18. All makes sense, all checks out. You're making sure that you're double checking to make sure you're not making some silly mistake that's gonna lose your marks. The last one, let's see. Start with my answer, 584. I'm gonna change that to times, times 15. Oh, that's a tricky one. Okay, not really, but anyway, let's see how we go. Times by 15, yeah? All right, five times four, 20, five times eight, 40 plus two, Five times five is 25, plus that is nine. Put a zero, one times four, one times eight, and one times five. You should end up with 8,670. 8760. Now remember, I told you, whichever one you do, I want you to make sure you've checked it and if it works now as it should be. Okay, once you've got an answer, you've got to go back and make sure that actually makes sense by try, trying it out. So if we do 15 into 8760. Oh, this is gonna be a tricky one. Long division. Let's see how I go. Okay. So 15 goes into eight zeros time. Now 15 goes into 85, 15, 30, 45, 60, 75. Can't go again, so that's five. 75. Okay, so there's 75, which means there's gonna be 12 left, yeah? And then I'm gonna bring down that six down to here. How many times does 15 go into 126? Well, that's gonna test me as well. 15, 30, 45, 60, 75, 90, 105. 120, what's that, eight? 120, okay, so that's six left over. Bring that down, bring that six down. Bring that zero down here. How many times does 15 go into 60? 15, 30, 45, 60, four. Let's check. 584, 584, beautiful Done work. Some rules, exceptions to the rules. We're not gonna go throughout in this video because the questions I'm gonna give you are based on these sort of questions. So remember, inverse comes from the word to mean turn around, okay? Turn around and go backwards. So we're always gonna start with the answer and do the opposite multiplicate, opposite operation, and hopefully that should help us out. I hope that's been helpful uh, and we're gonna get more difficult as we go. Thank you for watching.